Thank you. It's a hugely complicated controversy and even more so now today. Officials in Nassau County rallying in support of Daniel Penny, the Marine charged with manslaughter for applying what turned out to be a deadly chokehold to Jordan Neely in the subway. Mr. Neely, a mentally ill 39 year old. Mr. Penny, a resident of Long Island, says he acted to protect riders on the train. The rally today had people on both sides and there were arrests. Here's Iowa News reporter N.J. Burkett. Bruce Blakeman traveled 19 miles to Lower Manhattan with his bodyguards to make a point. Standing outside Manhattan Criminal Court, the Republican Nassau County Executive rallied veterans and retired police officers from Long Island, insisting that Daniel Penny should never have been charged. The prosecution of Daniel Penny is an outrage. It's a miscarriage of justice. Blakeman's full-throated defense of Penny left counter-protesters outraged. They waved signs and chanted, several calling him a racist, demanding he go back to Long Island. There's a brief skirmish with police, and three were issued summonses. Penny was arrested earlier this month. A 24-year-old former Marine Corps sergeant charged with manslaughter in the death of Jordan Neely. Neely was wrestled into a chokehold after witnesses say he burst onto an F train and began ranting, throwing trash and threatening riders. After several minutes, Neely lost consciousness and died. Penny claims he acted to protect himself and his fellow riders. The death has shocked and divided New York. Many, including some in city government, declared it a blatant act of vigilantism. But Blakeman insisted New York needs more people like Penny. We are here for Daniel Penny because he did the right thing. He cared enough to get involved. And isn't that what we want? Isn't that what we want, to have good people get involved? But Neely's supporters contend he had not harmed anyone on the train before he was subdued. I feel like it's our duty to um, to be there and disrupt this right wing narrative um, that he's a hero who can now take justice to, into his old hands. This case is now expected to go before a grand jury, which could add or dismiss charges against Daniel Penny.